I honestly think that if we are trying to write stories that are entertaining and funny and emotional and whatever, and we go, our story must be heard, then surely you as an author must stand up and go, I should be heard. Not, not just my book should be read, but I should be heard. Why not? You got people on YouTube who create videos and interesting, interesting, entertaining videos. Some are creative, some are just simple, but they have a a certain degree of authority when they speak. And how are you going to get people to stick around and remember you when you're doing the exact same thing that everyone else is doing? I don't understand it. And what I'm just saying is, if your stories are unique and interesting and different and must be out there, why don't we just take the same attitude towards ourselves and what we do? And instead of going about getting reviews the same way, having websites the same way, writing about ourselves in the exact same way. How about we, oh, here's a novel idea, just go and do what the damn thing we want and not be worried about what is going to guarantee us successful sales because successful sales and successful author are people who write good books that keep people there and that the people talk about. The way you do that is to keep them reading to the end and not everyone is going to market your book for you and tell their friends and get their friends to buy because the amount of times I've been told to read Fault in Their Stars and I haven't even read it yet is ridiculous. So, I've been procrastinating writer, I've always known as James Edwards. I hope, God, this comes out in editing because that audio right in the background is really distracting but you lot take care, thank you for being around, please stick around for everyone else. I will be doing more videos on my channel, although they won't be weekly because for God's sakes that will drive me insane. But you lot have a very pleasant day and a very nice day of that one. Bye bye. Have a good day, and after this, I do need a hug. There we go.